Happy Tuesday, YouTube. Don't know when you'll see this, but I do know that this is about the fifth time I have attempted to make a video this spring. One of these days, it's, it's gonna happen. Best believe. We're planting beans today, and I hope it goes all right. Hell, I don't know. Usually it goes all right, but you never know. Things break, things change. Every day on the farm, everything is subject to change with very little notice, to no notice. So, this is, this is the life we live. This is what we do. It's very fun. I am, I am getting over to my pass. I'm gonna turn in. Might have to back up. Usually I do on the first pass. Use that brake, baby. It's a little bit of weight on the rear end right now. We should be about good planting little beans. Okay, we were kicked on. Population's coming up. And she's up, so I'll slow down. My speed does not need to be at 10 and a half. I was trying to go too fast. I'll set it to eight. I'll speed up. My vacs are running about right. I'm gonna adjust this one up a notch and this one down a notch. That'll get them about even. So that's where my vacs are. They're both right at about 16. I like 16 a little better on beans than 15. Uh, corn, I run at about 20, 21, somewhere in there. It keeps my singulation up, but everything's in the green. I'm running 140 pounds on my margin for downpour, so the row units are putting down 140 pounds of pressure, and it's working really nice. Let's uh, let's get out and dig. So we gotta stop, and the first thing I do before I get out. I lift the planter up so that when I get back in, I don't back up with the whole planter in the ground. If you've ever backed up with a planter in the ground, you understand why I would want to avoid that. It's not, um, ah, allergies. It's not generally the most fun thing to go through. Back to it, Roland. Had a phone call with the pops. Out out and dug, and that's when dad called me. But everything's where it needs to be. It all looked good, looked the same as yesterday. So no gremlin came by in the middle of the night and changed all my depth. That would be such a hate crime. If someone left their planter sitting on the field overnight and you just mess with all their depth adjustments. God, that'd be terrible. Although I will say now I have an idea. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, I enjoy doing this whole YouTube thing. It's just finding time to do it. That's more so the challenge, you know? I'm just gonna sit here all day and worry about whether or not what I'm putting in the ground is gonna grow. This is my first year running a planter full time. Um, I planted before. Last year I did quite a bit of corn planting with Dad's big planter. But as far as a planter like this, this is completely new to our operation entirely. We've never we we had a 1990 bean drill when I was I would have been like 10 probably like 2008 to 2012 or something about when we had that. Oh, I gotta turn around. Oh, you know what I was saying? I mean, I planted before plenty. I planted, yeah, quite a bit last year, but again, this is completely new. The center fill planter, a CCS delivery. I mean, it's in ways similar to the drill, but in almost every other way, it's completely different. So this is a 2022 John Deere DR16 Exact Emerge. If you don't know what Exact Emerge is, high speed. We got a high speed. I say we because I didn't pay for it. My dad did. Dad bought this for me to run because I rented 500 acres last fall for this year. So we added that much onto our operation and our operation is pretty complex already as it is because of how much like seed corn we do. So there's a lot of isolation. There's a lot of weird shaped fields. Like our fields are big squares, big 160 acre squares. So a lot of people be like, oh, that'd be so easy to farm. But there's so many weird shapes and isolations with all the seed corn stuff. And we do so much of it that it's actually a lot more complicated than a person would think. But we also do a lot of that complication to ourselves because we kind of go 
above and beyond what we need to for the seed because we like our seed fields like perfect like they gotta look perfect and that's a that's a pride thing too you know throughout the growing season i mean you gotta look at that you know all year so you want it to look nice but also that's just a reputation thing as well you know if if, if we're known for our seed fields just being amazing it's not a bad thing at all but that amongst the ground that i run in we just we needed more efficiency so that's why we went with the high speed and efficiency is what we've got i'm running a i think it's a 2008 or 9 8430 john deere i'm not too familiar with tractor years like when they were made but it's somewhere in there it's an 8430 this is like my favorite tractor we have, if we're being honest. I love this thing. Like I said, Dad, or Dad ordered this new. It's the only tractor he's ever done that with. Um, he runs an 8310R on his planner, but IBT and a planner tractor, I mean, at this point, I would consider that almost essential. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a, with a power shift to a point, but... Uh... We have a power shift 8430 with a mechanical front end. So, you know, solid front axle. Ugh. I understand a lot of people would kill to have a tractor like that, but not me personally. Coffee. Another thing that's challenging with this whole YouTube thing, I'm still trying to like find out what my personality on the on the, on the platform is, you know? Should be myself, should I put on a facade? I don't know. Oh, you almost fell again. Got my drone in here at all times, ready to be used. Pretty sure all the batteries are dead. Yeah, I keep my Carhartt cooler that I won at some event for my seed dealer. I think I really want it. I think they just gave it to me and said that I want it because it's made for like a six pack. I can hold a six pack, keep it cold for a while. And I just turned 21 when I won that. And I'm a uh, man, my seed dealer. We're pretty, we're pretty tight. I love my seed dealer so much. They're like my favorite people ever. So. You guys are watching this. I appreciate y'all more than you know. And no, I don't love them because they give me free stuff. They do, but it's not like a Beck situation where I'm getting a freaking free seed tender. I get like I get like hoodies. I got this. They gave me this seed digger. They gave me this. They gave me this koozie, but it's for a Michelob can because they know I like my Michelob. And they gave me a freaking magnetic Michelob koozie. So it can like stick to stuff. That's fun. No, this is like one of my favorite times of year, honestly. I love spring, I love planting. It's like a clean slate, you know? All the bad that came from last year, you get a chance to redo everything this year. I don't know, it's just fun for me. And my dad's like, oh. Like he, he doesn't understand that I love planting season. He's like, oh, you, you really haven't been in it yet. You're too young. I'm like, dude, I'm not saying it doesn't suck sometimes. Like we've been planning for what a week this planter's almost brought me to tears twice we should do uh we could do a little background on my farm like who all works there and i don't know random stuff but so i came back full time when i was 18 i'm 21 now and i had to beg dad for that job i had to beg him so he was like if you don't love farming you shouldn't do it i don't know why i'd say that about i don't know why i do that with my dad's voice he does not talk like this ever he's more like this uh, no I have learned so much and it took so much information because I have anxiety real bad and I obviously would never want this to happen. But if my dad died tonight, I could take over tomorrow. You know, I want to, that's what I was trying to get to. Like, I want to know how to do everything and everything on the farm. I can just, any piece of equipment, any implement, I can jump in. I know how to set it. I can just go. Well, obviously there's dad. Uh, my father and we have a hired guy that's been with us I think this is his eighth season with us so that's cool and then my grandpa he doesn't do too much anymore but he's been running the stock chopper over some stuff getting it done doing a good job so we can't complain there because we need bodies uh, I sure don't have time to do something like that right now so the fact that he's doing it really helps us out yeah, definitely a, a big blessing for sure. Isn't it crazy? I mean, look at how fast the planter's moving and it's just, it's just doing a nice job. 
That is the one hiccup we had with this planter, and that was on the field that's right across the road from us. That was the first field planted of beans, and I might start that pivot watering today because the top is <coughs> crusted really bad. When I was planting that farm, it was so hard. I had to, I was running like 210 pounds on my downforce to try and just get it to stay in the ground and do a uniform job. But it was, it was raising my wings out of the ground. My outer rows could not keep ground contact because they were pushing the wings out. But uh, on that farm I had to, and I had to run my cleaners a lot, and it was just leaving a fine powder on top of the seed to a, well, not super fine, but it was fine. So when all that rain came, it basically leveled out that whole ridge that I planted into and just crusted the top real bad. And I checked those beans last week and they were starting to germinate. So I think if replanting doesn't want to be an option, I'm going to have to start that pivot today because um, it's going to get hot these next couple days and that crust, it's not going to get any better. I look and I act like an idiot. I, there's some stuff going on up here. I promise. This is this is what I do. This is what I know. So I called down on this whole pivot debacle. I think I'm gonna start it today. They're gonna start pushing hard tomorrow afternoon for sure, because I know they're germinated. So I'm sure they're starting to make their way to the surface. I know they're gonna look terrible. It's probably gonna make me sick to my stomach looking at them, but the hell are you gonna do? Here they are. They're coming started to kind of pop up. See if I can get this whole situation out. Yep. So their roots haven't started to really go down too hard yet, but the sprout's coming. I mean, it's all a crapshoot. Oh my goodness. Can I lay down right here? No. Oh lordy, she looks, she looks so good. I don't wear shoes in the cab. Ember! I'll probably start that pivot when I go to get lunch. I did not make lunch this morning. Because I woke up late. I woke up at like 7.30. Just about 45 minutes too late. It was because I woke up in a freaking unbelievable sweat at like 2.30 in the morning. So I kept having this dream over and over again. And my dad's saying, the earlier you plant, the earlier you get to replant. It just freaks me out, that saying, because that's what I think about every second in here but uh yeah woke up at 2 30 i was so discombobulated i had no idea what the hell was going on i had to pee extremely thirsty everyone knows that you wake up in the middle of the night you got cotton mouth i went to the freaking sink dude and i just <laughs> i'm okay but that took me like another 30 minutes to go back to sleep and then like the rest of the night i just kept having that dream over and over again and it was like a recurring thing and i just couldn't sleep very well so <laughs> I just made a super cool edit. Oh, I'm very hungry. Oh, I know I got two of these. Brecky. Brecky. Alright, well, now I need to fill. But I really need to check my wedges on my three point. I think one of them's gotten loose. Because, God, some of my lines that were planted are like crooked. So, this is the wedge. Oh, that one looks good. That one looks alright. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna run back to the shop. Get some tools. Because I might try and pound those wedges in a little tighter. Because I was just looking at some of the end rows I have planted. And... <sighs> wow. It's not like they were even... The... It's not like it's that bad. And it... I mean, they might grow fine and be straight. But I just... I don't like... Because I've noticed that a little bit. It's wavering through the field a little bit just I freaking hate that so we're going to fix it that new turbo is screaming here I'll film the turn you can really hear her spool up Put a 
63 millimeter fleece cheetah in this bad girl. Stock is 61. I didn't want to go too big, but I wanted a little upgrade, so I'd recommend it to anyone. Yeah, so it doesn't sound like it would be that important of a thing, the wedges on the three point, but what that does is it keeps your bottom, bottom arms from going like this. So when they have a little, even just a little play to go like that, I mean, this is the thing with three point planters, you gotta adjust your wedges throughout the whole season. And you'll be able to notice and it'll be good for a while because those wedges, they wear over time. And I mean, not real fast, but with a planter, they wear a little faster because there's just, you try to keep them so tight and there's so much lifting and stuff, but uh, it keeps your planter from going like this. And I've noticed that a little bit on this farm more than the other ones. So I'm going to grab what I need for sockets and grab a hammer and I'm going to fix it. Shop is very empty. Danielle, come here. Oh, he's had a big morning, I can tell he's tired. I'm going to take his afternoon nap and then he'll be fine. Ah! So you can tell it's empty. The toys. How are you guys doing? The Schwann 25 2001 restyle kit looks great. The Shketan, how are you doing? The Razor. And believe it or not, there's another bike in here and it's tucked away. It's my cousin's. Dylan, Dylan. All right, well, it's time to fill, but I'm gonna mess with these wedges first. Try to get them where they need to be before I add all that extra weight. residual talc in the system that I'll be all right. I don't want to deal with plugging up C tubes. Like, you know. Well, those wedges seem to make a, quite a difference. Um, it looks the way it should now. I mean, it's just straight down. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I'm on the wrong tower for this farm. I don't think I switched it. Nah. So now that I remember that, I'm gonna stop. And I'm gonna raise. All right, so we go to menu, applications, isobus. Actually, what you can do, I just have mine down here. I don't know why I went to menu. And then you hit that, Starfire, hit this little tripod dealio, configure, tower number 4068, configuring radio, and configuration successful. So now it'll probably go into WPC, or it'll say something up there, and I'll have to reconnect to my, um, RTK before I can go again. Actually, I might just set her down and go. If it loses connection, it'll it'll tell me. Not that not that terribly worried about it at the moment. Showing RTK usually by now I would have lost the tower and been trying to find the new one, but I think we're good. <laughs> now I am going to head to my seed dealer's place. And I gotta pick up some seeds, so that'll be uh, that'll be fun, like it always is. So this is what I was talking about. Like, let's look at this row. Can you see how it notches over to that to that side? Yeah, I don't like that. And uh, it was never bad until I started on this farm. And that, I mean, yeah, that's even that's not terrible, but that's way more than I'd like to see out of this level of machine. Well, or like right here, that's clear as day. Oh my god. Ah! 
so frustrating because now I'm thinking how long was that messed up how poor are things going to look during growing season and how many people are going to place the blame on me oh well if it's growing it's growing it don't matter this is a daily battle go up Now, now it won't even go down. Oh, change his mind. Let's try a whole new re-roll. Come on, baby. You can do it. Nope, she's even less this time. Well, I suppose she's rolling. Oh, she might be going. Nope. Golly, dude. YouTube, I'll tell you, I've, I've had... I've, uh, I've had it, that's a fact. Don't worry, I I worry about myself as well. I had to go, ouch! I went and got four buckets of talc because I freaking ran out. Ran out of all of our talc that we had in stock. We call it the shit show for a reason. Jordan Belfort came on to my shuffle when I was coming back from York. Because uh, when I don't know what to play, I just go to all my songs and shuffle. But it came on, and, oh, I'm still recovering. About passed out, word for word, dude. One breath, the first verse, basically. Wow, that was a lot. That was taxing on my lungs. And, and my cardiovascular system, if we're being honest. I was sitting there, I mean, veins were popping out of my neck. It was, it was ugly. Luckily, we made it through. We're all good. You guys like my scar on my pinky? Oh, my Dennis, look at that. That's when I was 11 years old. Found, a, found my hunting knife and it was in like a sheet, you know? Found it when I was cleaning my room. Why my parents got me a hunting knife at age 11, I will never know. But I uh, I was trying to be a sword, like act, pretend it was a sword like I was a knight, you know? From like ancient England or some shit, I don't know. And I ripped that little girl out of the sleeve there. And uh, yep, almost cut the tip of my pinky off. And fun fact. I can't feel the tip of my pinky and it gets like unbelievably cold because there's still saline in there or something that they I don't know something they were using to clean out the wound and there's still some in there so I'd say squishy it's not normal okay uh, thanks for coming to my pinky scar educational TED talk God, I haven't been farming for like an hour and 15 minutes so I had to I'm, yeah, ready to go to do that, yeah. And I know that these videos are like really long, so if you guys want me to like shorten them up, I, I definitely can, but there's just so much content, you know, and I like to talk, so there's like, those are two things that are bashing heads. It's almost impossible for people to find us and be blessed by us. So would you take just a second to rate and review this podcast? My Thank favorite so pastor. I'm standing here today Pass your in the mic. Garden of Gethsemane. Time of grace! Nothing's changed. See, this is why I struggle a little bit with making the whole YouTube video situation work. Because uh, this is a repetitive job at points, you know? I'm just going back and forth. Nothing's happening. When I'm operating, you best believe. Some breaks, you know, I'm sure going to get you guys out, take you along for the ride, but for right now, I'm, everything's going really good, so I can't, uh, can't ask for much better than that. I don't know, if I do stick with this, I want to be transparent about one thing. I just want to educate people. I'm in it for the money. That's what all the farming YouTubers are in it for. Hate to break it to you. But it is also cool to just share our lives. Because I feel like this is just, I mean, this isn't taught in schools, you know, and there's so many people in the world don't know, you know, where their food <laughs> comes from. So that is also cool to show you that and bring you on that journey and then also just show you how we do everything. I don't know. It's kind of cool to document it. I've always been a big documenter. I'm on my last pass of this farm, if you will. It's a half pass. Well, seven rows, but we're getting her done. So the plan is I'm gonna finish here, fill, and go to another farm about a mile south of here, start there, because I'm done here for the day. So it's like, I don't even know what 
time it is. Somewhere around 3, 4, something there. I don't know. I don't pay attention to time this time of year. If you're paying attention to time during planning, you're just wasting your own time. God. <sighs> That's frustrating. God. I have half a pass to go. All I have left is that little gap. And yeah, I know, I'm farther to the edge on here. Well, there's a line for this side of the field that we don't use anymore. So why we don't use it anymore and why it's still on the screens, I don't know. But I've never planted this field before, so I didn't know. But yeah, uh, we have to do the thing. I'll probably just shred off the extra rows of beans once they're up. Um, so that it looks uniform on the edge, but oh, ask questions if you don't know. It's the best thing you can do. Probably one of the most frustrating things for me about plant beans. Uh, once you get that low warning, oh, you're not finishing that pass. Doesn't matter if there's 20 foot left or half of it or three quarters of it. Doesn't matter. You're not making it. No way. No shot. Zero chance it's going to happen. With corn, I would have been able to do two more, do, do another round. No, not soybeans. Oh, and why, why is that, do you ask? Well, because soybeans are planted at a much higher population. They're much closer together. There's a lot more plants in the field. My population of seeds per acre right now is 150 thou wow, also known as thousand. And corn is normally between 28 to 36,000 or so. So, it's great. I love it here. All right, now I'm gonna fill. And then I'm gonna fill my meters. And we're gonna go plant. Opening slide gate sucks. Sometimes. Morning, oh Zach, why haven't you gotten more done today? I've had, I've had the day to end all days, basically. Uh, no, it wasn't that bad. I've just been running around a lot, like picking up seed. I had to run to town to get more talc because I ran out of talc. You can't really plant with an exact number of planter without talc. I don't think it will end very well. So I've just been out and about, running around. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a 1986 disco party in here for about <laughs> 26 minutes. But now, started on new field. So you dig? I sure still, uh, you know. Oh, Milo stocks! Milo stocks! Be the death of me. Good thing we're done growing Milo for all of eternity. Oh, there's one. That's pretty good. Beta boys. Oh, there's two. Two friends. Two friends hanging out in the trench, waiting to grow. Two dudes chilling in a hot tub, five feet apart because they're not dead. Now, I'm not saying that YouTube is going to become a regular occurrence. However, I will say I've been having fun today documenting. Kind of gives you something to do, you know? But just sharing, it's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, we're farming. I kicked it up. I'm going nine. It's working pretty good at nine. I like it. Oh, my goodness. We are scooting and booting, bud. You know, I'm sitting here now, and I'm, I'm becoming a little uneasy about my seed depth. So I'm gonna 
change it, I think, and try a little bit with a little sh one setting shallower and see how it turns out. Okay, so I'm going shallower. Oh, never mind. I'm actually where I wanted to be. I'm gonna roll with it. Thought that my depth was still on three and four notches. Um, it's kind of deep. So, moved it to four and four, I guess. Shit, I don't remember doing that, but. Uh, oh, I did it yesterday while I was getting set on that farm that I just got done with. That's when I did it. Okay, we're good. Resume farming! I understand my last words to you all were resume farming. I'm videoed out. I think I filmed plenty for today. I'm going to keep planning for another four, five, three, four hours-ish, probably. Um, and it's just going to be the same stuff. And it's just going to be me talking. Which I know, it's incredibly entertaining. Stay on the road! Stay on the road! Yeah, you know, we'll pick this back up another day. Um, maybe when I switch back to corn, start going on corn. And I'm doing isolation stuff. Because I'm not lying, I did have fun filming today, so... If you liked it, you liked it. I'm not gonna tell you to do anything. Just keep watching, I suppose.